We learn it first when we are children in our competition with our brothers and our sisters. We learn to blame them instead of ourselves for the wrongs and the anger that may exist between us. And then we grow up and grow out of it, and God willing, we still love our brothers and sisters. But we get very good at laying blame on everyone else with whom we don't have a good relationship. It is very easy to look at the troubled relationships we have and to hold the other party responsible, to say it's their fault, I have done everything I can. And if that is true, then we are blessed because we have lived in love and in imitation of Christ and we have received nothing but anger and hatred back. This is to follow in Christ's footsteps. However, in most cases, I think, I know for myself, I have very few enemies whom I did not myself wrong in some way. I am not innocent myself in any relationship. And if I do not take responsibility for that, if I do not express to myself, to God, and to my enemy love, repentance, and the willingness to forgive, then the blame lies with me. And as we enter into this, the week of cheese, but also the week of forgiveness, I would urge that we all examine our hearts and examine our relationships to determine whether we have loved with the love of Christ. And if we have not, not to blame ourselves, not to overwhelm ourselves with guilt, but to repent, to recognize the error in our own hearts and thoughts and minds, to make whatever effort we may towards reconciliation with anyone who has any complaint against us so that we may enter into the fast humble, loving, and repentant before God. This is what we are asked today. And the Lord's words give us a clear picture, an image with which we may understand. Our enemies, those who are weak and broken, who we would despise, in them we see the face of Christ. In them, we have the opportunity to love or not. Let us consider. Let us look to our own hearts and minds. And let us find the love of God there and show it to everyone that we encounter. May God give us understanding and strength to do this most difficult of spiritual labors. Amen.